Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm gonna share with you guys my everyday makeup drawer. It has been so long since I've done one of these videos, and I originally came up with this idea years ago when I was first starting my channel, and I know there are other YouTubers that now do it that I love and that I watch, so it's so exciting to watch the idea grow. But I haven't done them myself in a couple of months, if not even longer. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking, like, what is going on? Like, why aren't you doing these? So I now have a new desk, and there are two drawers in it. So I'm going to show you what I have in both of those drawers. Right now, the way I'm using it is I've got one drawer that has more new products that are new to me, whether it was sent to me or I bought it, whatever, that I'm wanting to try out. And then the other drawer has a lot of tried and true products that I love, or maybe they're still new, but I know I reach for them all the time, so I've just put them in that drawer. I don't know if that's always how I will organize it, probably not, but for right now it's really working. So I'm excited to show you what's inside. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the left side drawer, and this is full of products for the most part that are ones that I'm trying out pretty recently that are still new to me, uh, give or take. So on this side we have the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Everyone talks so highly about this. I've only used it a couple times. It's very, very dewy and luminous. So I'm still deciding. The way I've been using it lately because the first few times I did it on top of my whole makeup look, it was way too dewy. I've been doing this underneath my makeup look and it looks a lot better that way. You can kind of tone it down because it's a lot. So yeah, but it is really nice. I mean, it does exactly what it claims to do. Um, and this actually was recently sent to me from MAC, which is a really big deal. It's from one of their new lines. It's their strobe cream, but it's in their peach light sample. So it's got kind of a peachy tone to it. It's really cool. So I really like that for the exact same purpose. This is the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination that I love, but it's in a much deeper tone. They sent this to me recently as well. I've been using it just to kind of like kind of bronze my face with because it's in the shade Rich, but it is really nice. I love this formula. This is the Maybelline Master Fix. I don't love this stuff. I'm trying it out. It's not terrible, but compared to other products I have, it's not 100% awesome because it is that white translucent, so it does kind of leave a white cast. So, still working this one out. Here I've got the Ofra highlight I got in one of my recent, uh, I think it might have been a BoxyCharm or something. It's the highlighter in Beverly Hills. This one is unbelievable. It is so ridiculously <laughs> pigmented, it's unreal. And honestly, you can almost use it just as its own like peachy type blush. I really like this though. And then this I just got in the mail from Soap and Glory. It's their lid stuff and it's a six shadow palette. I clearly have not used it at all yet, but just looking at the shades, you know, it's really pretty colors, kind of more purplish toned, but I'm excited to give that a try. I guess I don't really need to keep that sleeve, but whatever. This is something I'm actually wearing today. It's the NARS Duo in Isolde. Um, is old, however you want to say it. Um, just really pretty. I have this on the lid and this like kind of on the outer corner. And I mix in some other shades from other stuff. But I love this. I can't stop using it. Especially the gold. You can tell there's already a dip in it. And I just bought it like a couple weeks ago. Love that. Here I've got another new product. Obviously, like I said, all of these are kind of new to me. This is from Urban Decay. It's their Naked Skin. I actually bought this one. It's in light. It's just, you know, a typical doe foot applicator concealer. But I really do like it. I've been using it a lot. It is light, but it does still have pretty high coverage. So um, it's nice. And then I also have, as I mentioned in my recent drugstore haul video, these Maybelline Color Tattoo Chromes. I really like it. I've got it in the shade. Sorry, we're babysitting some other dogs. So we've got beagles howling in the other room while my husband vacuums. Um, this is Bronze Sheen, Beige Luster, and uh, Fool's Gold. So these are just really pretty. I really like the deeper colors more than like the beige one, but they're absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see swatches and stuff, um, I'll link my drugstore haul video because I do swatches of these. And this, which is the color tattoo concentrated crayon in charcoal chrome, although this one I can really quickly swatch for you. It's a really pretty just charcoal color. It's perfect for, you know, under the lash line. You can just smoke it out even all over your lid if you want. I really do like these as well. I'm also trying out the Jouer Conditioning, Conditioning, Lip Treatment. Um, I like it, it's just like a lip balm. And then this was a sample I got probably from Sephora. It's their Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, which I've never tried. I don't know what shade this is actually in. I don't think 6B11 is anything, maybe it is. But um, yeah, I haven't tried it yet. 
I've just had this, but I figured this is the perfect way to give that a try before actually like buying it. This is amazing. This is from RMS Beauty, and it's their Living Luminizer, and it's just this cream product that a lot of celebrities are using that, you know, that it serves as a highlight, but it's just, you know, you kind of dab it on the high points of your cheekbone, and it just looks amazing. Just so dewy and pretty and natural. I love it. This is actually not new to me. I just, it fit right there perfectly. This is from NUX or Nukes. I never know how to say it. They're Creme Fresh Debuté. And it's just a, like a lotion, a moisturizer, but I really, really like it. Um, I, it's probably about half gone, so I've been using it most of the time when I'm getting ready. I switch between this and my Olay one that I love that has SPF. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. You guys know I love this. I mentioned it in my Sephora gift guide video as well. Absolutely beautiful, amazing. Honestly, sometimes I'll just take my brush and, and swirl it through all of it and put it on my cheeks, and it just looks amazing, but I love it. And then this is another newer one to me. Oops, it's opening. This is the, you can tell I've been using it. My fingerprints are all over the place. It's from It Cosmetics. It's their Je ne sais quoi quad. It's got a blush. Their Bye Bye Pores like pressed powder, a bronzer, and this beautiful highlight. I mean, all of these are so gorgeous. Their bronzer, though, is so bizarre. It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's just all right. Like, it looks like it'd be the perfect tone for me, but then it, like, doesn't show up at all. It's the weirdest thing. So I don't, I don't know if I love or hate that bronzer. Then I have a new favorite to me. This is the IBY Beauty or IBY Beauty little trio of eyeshadows. Let's see if it has a shade. It's called Three's Company. That's funny. Three's Company, too. But it's just so beautiful. And again, these are so ridiculously pigmented. Oh, my gosh. I love these so much. Look at that. So beautiful. I got this in a subscription box and especially that gold. Oh my gosh. But all of these, I mean, it's such a beautiful look all together too. The last few things in here I showed on my Instagram. These are from Estee Edit. There's their uh, gritty eye palette and it's got these beautiful colors. They're all so pigmented. Oh my gosh. And then this one is supposed to be like a face and eye palette. It's their glow face and eye palette. But I mean, I don't know. I haven't used it on my face yet. They're all just so shimmery. I've used some of it on my eye, like up here, but I don't know. I've definitely gotten more use out of the black one here than the other, but that is that drawer. Let's move on to the next one. So this is my drawer full of things that I, you know, some of them are still kind of new to me, but they're ones that I use like all the time and I'm constantly reaching for, so I just put them in this drawer. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm they're both just as accessible, but... Um, these are the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighters. I've got like one in light and one in radiant or brightening, radiant. And these are just amazing. I've got my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I use like for the outer parts of my eyebrows. I've been switching between the Benefit Cabrow in number four and the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. So I kind of use those interchangeably. Um, got the Milani Eyebrow Gel I love. This, okay, this product is amazing. I'm gonna show this to you guys. This is from Catrice. It's their Smoky Matte Powder Liner. I've never seen anything like this. So it's a little like, almost really thin sponge tip, but it provides just eyeshadow. So it's like a shadow kind of smoky liner. And I don't even know, I think they might've sent this to me a while ago. I use that on my lower lash line all the time. It is so amazing. It's so perfect. Um, I wanna see if they have other colors to try those out. Uh, but I also have my favorite mascara, the CoverGirl Supersizer, my new Kat Von D uh, concealer cream that I love, the Anastasia brow gel as well. This is, I'm just kind of trying this out still, the Too Faced sketch marker in uh, charcoal black. Got the MUA Professional uh, pencil liner I like. This I'm wearing actually in this video. This is the NARS uh, lipstick, Audacious lipstick in Raquel. It's just a really pretty, let's watch this one for you guys. Really pretty natural peach tone. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I love that. The formula, of course, is amazing on that. A little pencil sharpener. I have my NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I use this under my eyes today. I use it all the time. It really is so perfect because it's not too yellow for my skin tone. It's just right, so I love that. This is so perfect for fall. I had to put it in this drawer. It's the Boudoir Charm, Boudoir Charm from the L'Oreal Quads. I just think these colors are so pretty and they really do 
Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Look at these. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, they're so beautiful. I love these, and this is like the most perfect fall palette, even into winter. Then I have something I'm trying to use up. This is my Mac Painterly Paint Pot. Ooh, it's almost used up. It's getting pretty far down there. I'm sure you can't really tell, but love these. And I'm so weird. I like the smell of these. They kind of smell like I don't know, like slightly like vanilla, even though probably no one else picks up on that. This is my Sila Smudge Pot in black. Not my favorite gel liner, but I'm trying to use it up just because, you know, it was a little pricier. And then I have my Color Pop, Color Pop, <laughs> I say that every time, Libby Pencil in Bound. It's the most perfect kind of deeper color. I actually have this on the outside of my lips and this all over. So they kind of, I blended them together a little bit and in a really weird way, they look really pretty together. So that's everything in that little chunk. Then I've got a ton of like primers. <laughs> I'm just primer obsessed right now. This is the Smashbox Hydrating Photo Finish Primer. This is the Cover FX Calming Primer, two of my absolute favorite primers of all time. This one is so hydrating, it feels amazing. This one, like if you've got redness on your skin or your skin's just really kind of stressed out, this one is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love these both so much. Of course, my Olay Micro Sculpting Cream, I can't stop talking about, is so, so good. It has SPF as well, so I use that before I put on my primer every day. And then this one is very different. This is the Bye Bye Pores Primer. So many people are talking about this. A lot of the YouTubers got this like in a PR package, as did I. And, oh my gosh, like it's so, I mean, it's just like a white primer. There's nothing that, but it, it's so pore perfecting, but it's not as thick as a lot of the other silicone primers. I don't know how to describe it. It just, I only put it like on my nose and right around it, and it is amazing. My foundation does not budge. This is the Caudalie Eau de Beauté. I used to have this a long time ago, um, and I stopped using it because of some of the ingredients, but I realized, you know, like, for my skin, it didn't bother my skin. So they recently sent it to me, and I've been using it, and I actually really like it. It's just really refreshing. I've been putting this on kind of like the Tatcha stuff. I'll spray this on my face before I put on a primer or anything, let it sink in for a minute or two, and then I'll start putting other stuff on. I just really like it in the morning. This is the only foundation I have in here right now. It's my e.l.f. Flawless Finish. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love this stuff. It is, holy grail, amazing stuff. Oh my gosh. This I'm trying to use up. This is the Christian Dior uh, Creme de Rose Lip Balm. It's not worth the money, you guys. It's really, really nice. It's not that it's not nice, but no lip balm is worth that much money. I don't know what I was thinking, so I'm using it up. It really is nice, but you can find a million other things that are just as nice for way cheaper. This is the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear. I love this powder foundation. It's totally a dupe for the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination powder foundation that I love. Um, just like for all over my skin, I use this every single day. It's in the illuminating finish. You've got to get that kind. It's amazing. Uh, this one's semi-new. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And it's just, I mean, it's a highlighter, but it's a little less crazy it's just so beautiful. I don't, it's so, oh my gosh. I just use this every single day. I love it. Um, speaking of Laura Mercier, if I can get it out of there, I've got her puff down there. And then I also have this translucent loose setting powder. It's amazing. I've never had a loose setting powder that was this good. I will say that. I've tried a ton. This one is the best. I've tried. And then I also have this ridiculous splurge. This is my Chanel Soleil Tanda Chanel. Here's the thing, before I bought this, I thought a lot of YouTubers had it and talked about it, but they didn't actually use it. I use this every day. I use it today, I use it yesterday, and the day before, and the day before. Yes, it's splurgy. And no, I didn't like cream bronzers before this, but now that I've tried this, it is better than anything I've ever used. It's, I don't even know how to describe it. It just, it blends so well. It looks so nice on my skin tone, which blew my mind. I just use like an e.l.f. stippling brush with it. It looks so nice and it stays all day. It's unreal. I, it totally blew my mind. Um, and then the last few things in here, here's this Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I've done a review and swatches of this if you want to see it. Really good matte shadows, but in the video you kind of see like, you know, if you've got tons of palettes, you don't really need this, but if you don't have anything like this, you might because it really is a great, great palette. And then I also just have my uh, Sephora Z palette with I've got a bunch of Carity shadows, Makeup Geek, MAC shadows, just all kind of mixed in here. This I have in my crease today. This is the MAC shadow in Soba. I really, really like, but I love all these. This is in my outer outer corner, like the deeper part of my outer corner. It's MAC's shadow in Brune. 
This is kind of on my inner corner. It's in nylon. Um, I love this shadow here. Uh, it's the Makeup Geek one in Latte. That one is so beautiful. But these are all amazing. I love them all. If you enjoyed this kind of video and you'd like to see more of these, I've got tons and tons and tons. I've got a very long playlist of these videos from past months when I've done it. I will link that playlist below if you're interested in seeing some more of those. I hope that you'll catch me on my social media, on my Snapchat where I post all kinds of different makeup related things, as well as my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Otherwise, I hope you'll subscribe here on YouTube and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!